top GOP senators, GOP, top GOP senators, say Biden should have access to classified briefings. So I just want to say there's only like five or six senators out of 50 that have even hinted at the idea that Donald Trump is losing or has lost the election. If that's not scary, I don't know what is. So let's read. A growing number of Republican senators, including members of GOP leadership, said Thursday that President-elect Joe Biden should get the intelligence briefings. I'm sorry. Whew. My body is making noises. I am not a professional. On Thursday, the president... Oh, my God. Hold up. Okay, we're good. He is currently unable to receive... Uh, because of President Trump's refusal to accept the election results. So basically what's going on is the president-elect is an official kind of government-recognized position. You're supposed to, the transition team is supposed to have access to national security information. They're supposed to have access to federal buildings. You know, they're not the president. They can't enact legislation, but they're supposed to be able to understand what's going on. They're supposed to have these briefings so that they know when they take the office of the presidency, they're prepared immediately, right? They don't have to spend a week being weak and uninformed, right? And then, you know, that's a national security risk. Imagine that there's a secret report that a country is going to nuke the United States and Joe Biden doesn't know about that until like three or four days into his presidency. That country that wants to nuke the United States could take that time to, you know, take action. So this is why this, the, the whole presidential transition thing is so important. Why it matters. Only four GOP senators have acknowledged Biden as the next president, with the rest saying the appropriate legal processes should be allowed to play out. But even the ones still supporting President Trump's legal fight are pushing for Biden to begin receiving classified briefings for national security reasons. What they're saying. Chuck Grassley from Iowa, the most senior Republican in the Senate, told CNN that Biden should receive classified briefings, but that we ought to do what we did after the 2000 election with respect to the General Services Administration signing off on transition paperwork. Weird, right? Senate Majority Whip John Thune told CNN, well, I think that it probably makes sense to prepare for all contingencies. And as these election challenges play out in court, I don't have a problem with. And I think it's important from a national security standpoint, continued continuity. And you see other members suggesting that. I think it makes sense. I think we need a, I think we need a, a little bit of a background music for this uh, display. Senator James Langford from Oklahoma said on a radio interview, There ain't nothing wrong with Vice President Biden getting the briefings to be able to prepare himself so that he can be ready. That's not occurring by Friday. He'll step in as well and be able to push him to say this needs to occur so that regardless of the outcome of the election, whichever way it goes, I'm not saying that Trump lost, whichever way it goes, people can be ready for the actual task. Senate Homeland Security Chief Ron Johnson in a critical race in Wisconsin, I believe, coming up in 22. I could be wrong, but uh, this guy should be on the way out. Told reporters, I have no problem with it. In general, from what I've seen, intelligence briefings are really not worth a whole lot. The things we see in the SCIF don't add much value. He's only saying this because he wants to seem a little bit more moderate so that he doesn't lose his Senate re-election. Throwing that out there. Senate Judiciary Chair Lindsey Graham said, Yeah, I think you should. Even Lindsey Graham is buckling, everybody. Rob Portman from Ohio says, Yeah, I don't think that that would hurt. John Cornyn from Texas, who just won re-election, said, There's no justification for withholding this. As you can see, right, this is happening. They're like, okay, the writing's on the wall. Maybe we shouldn't go all out and say that Vice President uh, Joe Biden is the president-elect, but we'll say, you know what, we'll, we'll seem above it all. Look at, this is them. This is them on that radio. They're like slouched, right? And then as soon as they start talking, right, they grow. Like their body becomes an erection itself, and they become above it all. And they're saying, I am a logical and thinking rational adult. I'm not saying that Donald Trump lost, so before anyone says that, I'm not saying that. Donald Trump is legally fighting. But, just in case, you never know. Wink, wink. Just in case. I think Joe Biden should have those briefings. And uh, again, I'm, I'm just, I'm not being partisan. I'm being intelligent. I'm seeing the facts as how they is. 
That's what their little little message is. And I say fuck them. I say if people are equivocating on this bullshit, they should be yelled at. The, I, I, now, I know like these people are not going to go on left-wing radio or like liberal radio. They're going to go on comfortable right-wing radio and get softball questions, right? I know that. But any reasonable journalist, right, would say, why are you denying the election results? Like, these court cases have no, you know, bearing. Why are you letting the president of the United States have a temper tantrum, temper tantrum that's putting national security at risk? Why are you letting this happen? Do you not care about America? Well, clearly they don't. They have shown that in their entire careers as senators. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about me. Even if you live in their state, they could not possibly give a flying fucking fladoodle about you. They don't care. They don't give a fuck, okay? And that's what you need to understand. These people need to be hounded. I think any Republican and any Democrat, for that matter, that does not enact policy legislation that actually makes people's lives better, they shouldn't be allowed to go in public. You know what we used to do in this country? We used to tar and feather people. We used to throw tomatoes at politicians and lawyers. We used to fucking harass people. We used to scream at people as they walked through the city square. Why don't we do that anymore? Whenever people protest at a restaurant that Ted Cruz is at, people get, hey, Ted Cruz is just trying to enjoy his private citizenry and, and just try to enjoy a meal at a fancy restaurant, but you're attacking his freedom. What freedom? He's a public official. He works for us, motherfucker. Right? Especially if they're in their home state. If Tom Tillis, who just won re-election, comes to my like city in North Carolina, which he probably won't, but if he does... You bet your sweet motherfucking asshole that I'm going to go out there and I'm going to fucking protest that motherfucker, even if I'm alone, because these guys should not be allowed to live in an echo chamber. The president of the United States is a baby and a toddler and a loser, a failure. And the idea that there's only a handful, the idea that you can only count them on your fingers, the amount of Republicans that are admitting reality should be horrifying and alarming to every single person, not in this country, but in the world, at the absolute state of American politics. There you go.